Hey, hey, crafty friends. It's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. It's time for a bit of a scrap attack. I am just cutting the lantern from the um, Lighting the Way die set with my little mini cut and emboss machine. Um, this is actually the featured stamp set in this month's class. I'm just going to grab my take your pick tool here. So scrap attack is my way of busting through the scraps that accumulate in my craft room. Um, because we all have them, we all use them, we all, well, may or may not use them. Um, so there's our lantern. I absolutely love this die. Um, this is actually the first time I'm using it, which I'm a little surprised about because I love old-fashioned lamps. I have quite a collection. Um, yeah, no, I am not going to do that. I was thinking about using that for something, but not today. Um, so yeah, scrap attack where I jump into my scrap bin. Um, I don't usually grab my card base from my scrap bin, but everything else comes from that. And I've got some four inch by probably two inch, inch and a half strips that are leftovers from cutting. Um, this is, I think, from the Gone Fishing or Let's Go Fishing paper pack. So I'm just gonna plop these guys onto my paper uh, or on my cardstock base. So I just wanted something that kind of evoked that feeling of outdoorsy, um, camping, fishing, summertime. It's, do I want the purple or do I want the, yeah, I'll do the purple. Um, it's still winter here. It's still chilly. We are on March break this week. So I'm hoping that the weather is gonna smart up a little bit and get a little bit warmer. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted a little bit of something that would help evoke some of that feeling of warmth and the hope that summer is right around the corner. Now, did I grab dimensionals? Of course I did not. Do I usually have dimensionals on my desk? Somewhere. Um, if not, I have a pack super close at hand. I don't know if this is your first time in my craft room. Welcome. It's always an adventure. We're never sure exactly where we're going to land, but it's always fun and we always learn something. Um, I am not the kind of crafter who is overly meticulous. Mistakes happen. Um, and I will gladly show and share how to fix the mistakes that happen. And I actually was going through some cards. I'm doing a craft sale at the end of the month. Um, so I was going through some cards, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and I came across this little guy too. I wasn't going to use him, but I think I'm going to. Um, but first, we are going to grab a sentiment from Inked and Tiled. And I wasn't sure what color I was going to do our sentiment, but I think I'm going to do it um, on crumb cake. I love crumb cake. It is one of my very favorite neutrals. And I was kind of surprised, but also a little bit thrilled that Stampin' Up! has introduced a new basic color uh, coming up into the 2024-25 annual catalog, which is basic beige. I haven't seen it in person yet, but it looks like it's somewhere between, um, I don't know, my best guess would say it would be between um, crumb cake and very vanilla. That's kind of the impression that I'm getting from it. So I'm going to do happy birthday. I'm going to do it in shaded spruce because I think that color will go well. I might do a circle punch or inked and tiled. We'll see which way. Actually, which 
choices, choices here. Actually, I like that a little bit better. So it's not going to punch perfectly, but sometimes that's okay. It's got a little bit of a different look to it. I'm just going to grab my scissors and just kind of flatten that out. Flatten that out. And we've got our little triangles still there. It's not quite. There we go. That's better. All right. So three scraps, a scrap of Knight of Navy. I've got a bear that's already punched out. This stamp um, or punch is retired, but I doubled up on our embellishment or our dimensionals so that it'll pop it up just a little bit more than the lantern. And then we're going to tuck our happy birthday. I'm just going to do a flat lay for that one. And then we're going to pop some of the purple gems onto that. So I'm actually going to line our sentiment up right on that purple piece and grab our take your pick tool. Um, I'm going to use the lightest and the smallest, I think. And then we're just going to do three gems randomly around our lantern. So Card making can be really quick, really easy, and you can absolutely use the scraps that you have to create something that is fun, unique, um, and uses up the scraps that you have for any occasion card. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.